In this video, we are going to learn about a new feature in Civil 3D 2022 uh, that is advanced reverse spiral and reverse curve options. Uh, currently, in my Civil 3D, I have uh, opened Civil 3D 2020 version. So, in here, I have a straight section and I have a curved section. So, if you want to have a reverse curve here with spirals, we don't have any option in Civil 3D. This is where you have floating reverse curves, but reverse curves and compound curves, but we don't have options between tangent and curves, only we have between uh, tangents or between, uh, only we have options between tangents. We, here we have a tangent and a curve to have the reverse spiral or the uh, reverse spiral, but we don't have subject option here. So in Civil 3D 2022, it has that option. In other two cases also curve with a straight section so this is the vice versa versa of this option and here also we have a reverse curve with spirals but we don't have any options to create those reverse curve with spirals in civil 3d 2020 or even to in civil 3d 2021 versions but civil 3d 2022 version have that option so we will move on to civil 3d 2022 now so here I have opened Civil 3D 2022. So we will be looking at the advanced reverse curve spirals, reverse curves with spiral in Civil 3D 2022. So in this video, uh, I have this alignment. So I will be using a Civil 3D 2022 new features, free reverse spiral curve, spiral spiral option and two other options listed here. So first I will use this one. So to get that one, I go here and go to this option, free reverse spiral curve spiral from option. So I click this one. So it is asking for the, to select the first entity. I will select this one. Then it is asking to select the second entity or the next entity. I will select this one. So it is asking whether our solution is less than or greater than 180 should be less than 180 and it is asking for the radius of the resulting curve resulting reverse curve i will type it as 150 then it is asking for the spiral in length so this one uh, the spiral with this curve so i will type it as 15 meters so this spiral length should be uh, given by the design guidelines so you have to use correct uh, spiral lengths according to the design guidelines so i will select just randomly uh, 15 meter length then it is asking for the spiral 1 out length i will select that one as also 15 and spiral 2 out length also as 15 so you can see you have a uh, nice looking uh, curve with a spiral between this tangent and curve then i will move to this option we have a curve and a straight in between i will have a uh, reverse curve with spirals so I will move to this option, reverse free, reverse spiral, spiral, curve, spiral. So I select this one and I select this curve and I select this next entity as this straight and my curve solution is less than 180. In my radius again I type it as 150 and for the spiral lens I will type it as 15 as earlier. So then you can see again i created another curve with spirals uh, even though this is small you can according to the parameters you may have a uh, higher rate higher length curve if you adopt the correct parameters according to the alignments now in the next part we will move on to this one we have two curves and we, we connect these two curves with a reverse curve in between with spirals at the edges so i will select this option and go to free reverse spiral spiral curve spiral and spiral between two curves i select this option so the arm of my first entity is this one next entity is this one and curve solution less than 180 again i will type my radius as 150 and spiral one in length i will type it as 15 two in length i will type it as 15 and out length also type it as 15 
so it will give me a nice looking reverse curve with spirals between these two curves so that is how to uh, use advanced or new civil 3d 2022 reverse curve options